Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom 404 page using Neve's custom layouts module. So currently if we try to access a page that does not exist like this, I'm just going to type in a random URL. We'll get this page by default, but we are going to be creating a better looking alternative. So let's begin. Let's start by going to the WordPress dashboard. Okay. So from here, we just want to go to appearance and click on custom layouts. And this is only available in Neve Pro. I'll leave a link in the description. Let's click on add new to add a new custom layout. Okay. Now let's give this layout a meaningful title. So I'm just going to call mine a uh, custom 404 page. Maybe yes. Custom 404 page. Okay. Now we just want to go ahead and add a cover block. So click on this plus icon and search for a cover. If it does not show up in your panel by default, let's click cover. Okay. So now we can go ahead and select a color from the options we have available. Well, that's if you want to use a plain color like this, this green, for example, let's use an image instead. So click anywhere on this block and click on add media. You can either select from your media library or you can upload media. Let's open the media library to select an image. So I will select this image. Okay. So now we have added our image, but we have this green overlay. So let's go ahead and click on the block, move to the right hand side, scroll down. And here we have our overlay section with the green color. Let's choose a darker color. Maybe this black one. Let's see what happens when we increase the opacity. I think 60 looked better. Okay. Let's leave it at 60 and let's make this full height by clicking on this icon. Okay. Now let's add some text. I'm going to type in 404 at least for now. Let's make the text bigger. Let's try 42. That's still too small. Let's go custom and type in 100, 100 pixels. Okay. That looks better. And this is just a quick example. Your design skills may be way better than mine. Now let's add a new paragraph block. Now I'm going to add a short message. Let's say something like the page you are looking for no longer exists. Okay. Let's center align this text by clicking on this icon, then align text center. Now I'm going to add a button that will lead back to our home page. So let's go ahead and click on this plus icon at the top. And let's use this search box to find a button block. Okay. We have one here. Let's click on it. All right. So here's our button block right now. It's left aligned, but we can change the alignment to center. Click on this icon and select align center. Now let's click on the button to add some text. Let's say something like go back home. Okay. Right now our button is dark gray and we are going to apply a pre-configured style. So let's click on primary on the right hand side. Let's add the link for our button. So click on this icon and we are just going to highlight the first part of our URL. So let's take it from the slash after X, Y, Z all the way to the top copy and paste. So this is a link to our homepage. Now we need to press enter or click on this icon. Okay. So I think we have everything we need for this example. So let us preview this page in a new tab. Okay. So here's our custom layout and the page we are looking for no longer exists. So let's go back home. So now we're at the home page and technically this isn't a 404 pages yet. We're missing one more step in the WordPress editor, scroll down and go to the custom layout settings section. We need to select a layout. Let's choose 404 page. Okay. And we have one more option that says enable expiration date. We don't want to select that. Let's move to the top and click on the publish button twice. Okay. So we just made our layout a real 404 page. And remember you can design this however you need to. You can create your own design using as many blocks as you want. Um, let's just type in a random URL to see what happens. Okay. So this page really does not exist. And we're being shown this 404 page that we just created. So job done. So now you know how to create your own custom 404 page using the custom layouts module from Neve Pro. Thank you so much for watching.